Chinese and Parliamentary Affairs, C. Paula Jusiji, Honorable Minister of Power, Government of Assam, Sri Nandita Garlosaji, Additional Chief Secretary to the Government of Assam, Sri Pavan Gothakur, Chairman and Managing Director of NLC India Limited, C. Rakesh Komarji, My colleague in the Cabinet, Senior Officers, Representative from our three power company, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very historic occasion. We are signing, we have in fact signed a memorandum of understanding with NLC India Limited for producing 1000 megawatt solar power in state of Assam. As has been told, NLC is a Navaratna company under Ministry of Coal and they have a complete proven track record of good corporate governance and generating power both from coal as well as from solar. In fact, we we were in touch for last a few months, primarily because of because of complete of a separate region. In pre-COVID period, Assam peak hour power demand was 1800 to 1900 megawatt. But in post-COVID, suddenly there are a lot of activity in Assam and now the peak hour demand has gone up to 2400 megawatts of power so electricity demand is increasing like anything normally uh, project ahomot ahar loge loge and there are almost 92000 crore of industrial uh, invest of investment is either ongoing or it is coming, it is in the pipeline. So all this together, we estimated there will be addition of another 1000 megawatts uh, peak hour demand in Assam electricity. So today is 2400. In two years of time, as per our very, very conservative estimate, we will be around 3500 megawatts. Now, we did not know it. Amar knowledge of Nasile, the power sector demands will increase like this. Although Ami Amar distribution network we have uh, strengthened with lot of effort, we got lot of support from Government of India. Now also we have got another scheme from Government of India to improve our distribution networks. But the question remains that what will be the source of power? If you take power from the grid, it will cost us 12 rupees. And we cannot sell power to consumer at 12 rupees, which is next to impossible. So we got some information that Navy had uh, some additional power to, and they are in a position to sign PPA. So we contacted uh, Honorable Minister Cole, Secretary Cole, MD Navelli, that can we get some power allocation for the state of Assam. Today, our own production is very low, but there are a lot of central government PSU which are producing power in Assam. So all together, today we are producing or we have a PPA for almost 2000 megawatts. That's the limit of PPA. If NHPC Shuan Siri come, then we will get another 500 megawatts, but that is a high del power that will not be available throughout the year. So uh, we, we thought that what is our capacity? We found that we can do a project in uh, Kopili. So we have started that project, 120 megawatts. Another Borpani high del project, 25 megawatts. But after that, we don't have hydel potential. So we uh, requested Navy. So there is a proposal going on. Uh, 
Navalny has in principle agreed us through government of India that they might give us 200-250 megawatts of additional power from UP. But that will also be subject to concurrence of the government of Uttar Pradesh because that is again a joint venture. So while discussing all these things for last six months, a parallel idea developed that whether we can uh, produce solar power in Assam. Already in Anman, Navali is producing solar power. So during the conversation, we got to the uh, level that there was a meeting of mine and we decided we are going to float a joint company and we will produce 1000 megawatts of solar power in the state of Assam through a joint venture company. Paula Jusiji has blessed the idea and today we have signed that historic MOU where 49% shares will be with the government of Assam, 51% with Navy, and together we are going to have 1000 megawatts of solar power in the state of Assam. So this is uh, from the uh, from the perspective of state of Assam, this is a huge occasion. I think we never thought of producing 1000 megawatts power from a uh, single source. And uh, so far we are only dependent on the central government PSU because our own generation will be just 300 megawatts or like that. But today is an important departure that Navy is doing that with a complete, almost 50-50 share uh, uh, contribution from both the organization. And this is for the first time we are going to set up JV and we are going to produce solar power. Of course, uh, there are some more plans with the state of Assam uh, so that we can increase our solar power generation. Today we have achieved one milestone with Navy that is for 1000 megawatts. <coughs> Prime Minister has uh, also throw ADB recently in the Government of India uh, Steering Committee meeting in the Finance Ministry with the blessings of Honorable Finance Minister and Honorable Prime Minister. We could get in principle clearance for another 1000 megawatts of solar power which will be done completely by APDCL. Yeah, it, is, it is a completely Government of India will give us money and 20% uh, we have to return, 80% they will absorb by themselves. So that 1000 megawatt EPC power, solar power will come and 1000 will come from the Navy or from this JV. So with additional 2000 megawatts in the daytime and with our own PP of 2000 megawatts uh, for the, that cycle which we had, I think Assam will be uh, in a better position for the power in during the daytime. So this will also bring investment of 5000 crores to Assam through Navy Road and of course through Government of India what I am saying for the next 1000 we are going to get another 4000 crore. So 10,000 crore investment in solar power, 2 gigabytes of power, 2000 megawatts so it's a big deal if we say from the state of Assam points of view. It may not be big deal when we think about Karnataka, we think about Gujarat because they are already a engine of growth. Uh, they, these are already big state. But from the point of view Assam, from Assam, 2 gigabytes of uh, solar power to the Prime Minister dream. He is dreaming of 500 uh, gigabytes of power, that's 50,000 megawatts. So out of 50,000, if Assams can contribute even 5,000, I think it's a big deal, but that is up to 2035. Uh, we have already on our own generation of solar power around 200 megawatts. 2,000 is coming, so we'll be 2,200 in next three to four hours, I think. That will be a big contribution from Northeast towards uh, fulfilling vision of Prime Minister. Uh, that because all these powers are uh, powers will be green power. 
Now, why our power demand is picking up? So these are not isolated even. For the first time in this financial year, Assam's gross domestic product GDP will cross 5 lakhs crore. So this will be another milestone which we are going to achieve in this year. Our own budget expenditure has gone now beyond 1 lakh rupees. So all these milestones we achieve in this year, over and above now, farmers know that they can sell rice through MSP. Industry knows that there is a big policy shift uh, is there. There are a lot of in incentive in investing a sum. So I think that all these will, whatever our conservative estimate, will go beyond that. Now, what happened in the advanced state? They project 10 years beforehand. But in Assam, we never thought of, We in today we are in 2022. 2012, we never thought of 2022. And in 2022, we are not thinking of 2032. So that is the biggest issue with the state like Assam. So just now we have uh, we are discussing in car with Paula Jusiji. He said whatever the political equation, somebody will come, somebody will go. But in state like Karnataka, bureaucrats start thinking about 20 years future, right from today. So in Karnataka, bureaucracy has already started thinking that what will be scenario in 2042. But we are probably thinking up maximum up to 2000, 2025 or 26. I think our thinking process need now paradigm shift. We need to visualize Assam. We are talking about active policy. We are talking about South, South uh, bringing closer to Southeast Asian countries. Suppose all this happen. Are we ready to take up the challenges, ready to take up the changing situation? Do we have hotel? Do we have electricity? Do we have power? Do we have land banks? I mean, we are in absolutely, we are not there. So, Aji, normally, we industry industry. Today, we are thinking the land, power, but we are not thinking five years down the line. They will have an expansion plan where from electricity will come. So now Jugi Gupta, we have started multi-logistic uh, part. But if all the industry comes there, whether power will be available or there or not, because if you are going to draw power with 12 rupee cost, then Assam economy will break. It will not be able to survive. I think this initiative is a futuristic project, this 1000 megawatt projects. And I think Assam should start thinking in futuristic line because we are the gateway for the Northeast. And if all these things happen according to our PM's vision, then we will be the gateway of India for the Southeast Asian countries. So I think we should think in a futuristic line. Now, I have a, when, uh, why I am elaborating a little bit of background. In order to meet Assam growing power demand, at least in peak hour, we need solid at least 1,000 to 1,500 megawatts a new power projects in Assam. We don't have coal to generate that kind of power. We don't have hydel potential. Now what to do? Only two options remain that buy having more and more production from Margherita, we can think of setting up a thousand megawatts thermal plant because gas is a issue and all these gas projects we are thinking of all these hundred hundred megawatts. So now Assam needs thousand to fifteen hundred megawatts of solid power. It is not bit by bit. We need a constant and solid source. Otherwise we have to go back to the twelve rupees norms. So whether we can increase production in Margarita and then we can set up a thermal project. Or if that is not possible, whether we can go out of Assam, take a coal field and develop a 1000 megawatt of power because transporting coal back to Assam is a problem. 
lot of cost is involved, but transporting power is nothing because central grid is there. So instead of bringing coal to Assam, we can just bringing, we can bring power to Assam. So I have made a request to Honorable Minister Cole that we can think of jointly working with Navy further for setting up another 1000 megawatts of thermal plant either in Assam or outside Assam in the same JV concept and APDCL is ready to sign the PPA and we are going to uh, take the entire, we are going to purchase the entire power. So my request to uh, both uh, Rakesh Ji from Navy and of course to our Honorable Minister of Power to explore that option also so that we can uh, think of having adequate power at least for next 10 years. Green power will get during daytime, daytime will not be an issue, but we need to meet our peak hour demands. Having said that, today is a very, very important occasion. It's a 5,000 crore investment from the investment point of view. It's a 1,000 megawatts of power and it is all about green power and a small little humble contribution towards the objective of Prime Minister in reducing fossil-based power and increase green power by 2035. I'd like to offer my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to Honorable Minister Sri Paula Jusiji for coming all the way to Gohati. He has come only this for this region. Apnaluke Jane Jayajan Hongkhodiya Parikrama Montri, when Parliament is on session, it is next to impossible for him to visit any place, even not to his home constituency. And particularly during Modiji Jira, where he takes Parliament so seriously, it is next to impossible. I think I have not seen face of my MP in Assam for last 20, 25 days. They are not allowed to come to the state. Uh, only when I go to Delhi, I meet them. So they, they are they are like a schoolboy. They say, Dada, uh, we have to go on time. We have to come back on time. So on this critical time, Bala Jusiji has spared his time. He came all the way. Uh, of course, I need to mention it. I mentioned it earlier in Margarita. Margarita Coal India was also in, in words of complete closure. Because you know that we, we have quality coal, but we did not have the quantity. And it was not very lucrative for Coal India. So when, for some reason, uh, for some reason, Forest Department closed down the mines, in fact, Coal India feel happy. They, they were of the view that now at least we don't have to be, uh, run a parallel establishment. On, Officially, they said they are said, but unofficially, they said, so, ek muskil hat se chala gaya. Lekin, when we started the government, I emphasized to Paula Jusiji, that look, this is not about quantity, this is all about livelihood and the future of the area. Margarita was, a lot of people face unemployment because of shutting down of coal operation, because it is very easy to give comment from Gohati and from Delhi, Delhi. But people who are in field for generation, they are dependent on livelihood. For them, it was a big shock. Margarita was going almost, uh, they were under tremendous economic stress. When I last time went for election campaign, all across, right from the professor of the college to the people in the Pansop, they had only one request to me that please revive the Coal India again. So I met Paula Jusiji, he put a lot of his effort and because of his effort we could restart the operation of Coal India. For that also, in a, when I request Paula Jusiji, uh, he accommodated his busy schedule, he went up to Margarita, got that inaugurated and today also he spared his valuable moment for Assam. So I'd like to offer our deep gratitude to C. Paula Jusiji and also to Navy Lignite Corporation. Of course, my also, uh, I'd like to offer my gratefulness for that contribution to the Chief Minister Relief Fund. My APDCL or Hokoluke Amar Hokti Montri Nandita Garlusa Aru, 
আমার এপিডিসিএল সকলকে ধন্যবাদ জনাম টু মেজর প্রজেক্ট টু ইমপ্লিমেন্ট ওয়ান থাউজেন্ড মেগাওয়াটস অন ইউর ওন আর এক হাজার মেগাওয়াট উইথ নেই ভ্যালি আই থিঙ্ক নেভার ইন দ্য হিস্ট্রি অফ এপিডিসিএল সাচ এক্সাইটিং মোমেন্ট ইজ দেয়ার বিফোর ডেপ মানে সরপ জানা পঞ্চাশ মেগাওয়াট পঁচিশ মেগাওয়াট এশ মেগাওয়াট পাঁচ মেগাওয়াট উই ওয়ার ডিসকাশিং এবাউট ডেম নাও টু থাউজেন্ড মেগাওয়াট ইজ এ ভেরি এক্সাইটিং টাইম এ হেড ফর এপিডিসিএল আই লাইক টু জাস্ট পুট এ লাইন হিয়ার টু পলা জুসি জি যে লাস্ট ওয়ান ইয়ার উই হ্যাভ সিন ট্রিমেন্ডাস ইম্প্রুভমেন্ট ইন আওয়ার পাওয়ার সেক্টর অল দ্য থ্রি কোম্পানি টার্ন এরাউন্ড দে মেড গুড প্রফিট Uh, commercial and transmission loss has come down to 16% we we are committed to bringing down to 15% and now our uh, almost revenue realization is 100% whatever we bill we realize and lot of uh, investment is going there so i think uh, our epidcl will be able to take up the challenge my epidcl ok onur kori je the whatever help navely required from us please extend it immediately our land is uh, ready even we will be able to think of uh, floating uh, solar also because assam is blessed to it so many wetland so we can think of floating also uh, there is a new concept of pumping and storage so we can think of because if we deploy the pumping and storage facility then even solar can be available to us in the peak hours in the evening so i'll request epdcl to explore that whether we can also do pumping and storage whether we have that kind of water body through which you can do the pumping and storage hey to hole we can preserve the solar power for the peak hours also so definitely amar ahomor babe aji ei tu eta sonali khon 1000 megawatt green power kheujia pohor amar babe ottonto eta dangor safalata moi sokoluke dhonnobad janai pradhan mantri narendra modi dangoriya leke dhonnobad janai moi mor boktoy por hamorni mai